Here is your latest Africa News. There is a terrible, terrible slaughter that is underway uh, in Gaza. And despite, you know, a whole host of promised protections of the civilian population that is innocent of the harm uh, that was done by Hamas. Uh, people are unprotected, the innocent are being killed, women and children, public institutions that should provide support and help are just being decimated. And we felt as a country and as a signatory to a range uh, of international uh, uh, conventions that it's time we make conventions work for the good of ordinary people and that we could not idly, as a member state of the UN, uh, sit by and watch this as though it's a film um, that we needed to step up and uh, draw to the world's attention uh, that a genocide is underway in our view. These are countries that call on all of us to observe democracy, to respect international uh, human rights law, uh, to respect all the frameworks that govern uh, uh, global uh, institutions. So it is them, in fact, who should be upholding a convention such as the Convention uh, on the Punishment uh, of the Crime of Genocide. So it's a pity uh, that countries that often lecture us about how we must observe democracy, international law, uh, and other important instruments are the very ones that are now saying, uh, do not use these. Uh, what lesson uh, does this offer for future breaches of human rights? We are concerned at the deaths that were a result of the Hamas attack, and we're concerned that the situation of hostages will continue to be held uh, by Hamas, and we would want these to be released. But this must uh, uh, be accompanied by a genuine attempt to resolve uh, the oppression of the people of Palestine. I think we should all be extremely worried uh, uh, when uh, we can act uh, uh, with impunity and attack each other. We're just opening up room uh, for greater harm. Um, those of us who always call for us to respect international law uh, should have regard to international law and should use its prescripts uh, to define uh, all our actions. But I think I uh, hope will come out quite uh, strongly uh, in support uh, of the people of Palestine, uh, really emphasizing the need for a ceasefire and also that humanitarian aid uh, must reach those people who need it. Uh, so this, out of this meeting should be a call to end the harm, to end the slaughter, to end the deaths. Let us know in the comments below if you found this video informative. Please show your support by liking and sharing this video for the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to receive updates on our latest videos. And always remember, Africa is watching.